Hi there, my name is John Knudsen. I'm one of the pastors here at CLF, and I want to chat with you this morning about life, apologetics, how we know what God, Jesus, and the Holy Spirit has said is true in the Bible. Now, today we're going to be talking about serving. There's a few things you need that I really want to get out of the way first. First, serving is not about salvation. The second one is serving is not actually about the church. All right, let's get into it today. So the first one is this, serving is not about salvation. Ephesians 2, 8 through 9 says, For it is by grace that you have been saved through faith. And this is not from yourselves, but a gift from God. Not by the works so that no one can boast. Something for nothing. Salvation is in itself something for nothing. I mean, you can't work or serve enough to ever amount to the salvation that you've received in Jesus. That's a gift of salvation. is just far too big for you to ever achieve. But wait, John, what about James 1 and 22? It says, don't just be hearers of the word, but doers of the word. Well, that's a fine point. And I think James is actually talking about being hearers. He's not just talking about salvation. He's actually talking about the position of your heart. Meaning, you have to ask yourself this question. Are you willing and able to serve the Lord and willfully ignoring his call? That's being a listener, but not a doer. And that has nothing to do with salvation. Meaning you can continue to choose to walk away from God's voice, but it's not your inactivity that loses your salvation or causes you to walk away from God. It's actually the position of your heart because you're choosing not to follow what he's asked. In contrast, look at the opposite. We don't do in order to be saved. Rather, we do as a response to the change of our hearts and our willingness to follow Jesus' calling in our lives because it is by grace alone. But by no means can you can continue to ignore the voice of God in your life because it shows truly the position of your heart towards the God and his gift of salvation. The second one is that serving is not about the church. Serving the church isn't about serving the church. It's actually about serving Jesus. And you don't have to serve the church to be servant of Christ, but you do have to serve others. I think there's a problem with how we view serving. I think we, we think that serving only happens on a Sunday morning or, or during a church function during the week. Well, that's just not the way it is. Now, that's not to say I don't think you should serve at your local church. In fact, I would encourage you to consider it. Rather, I would say that it means more of a yes and, meaning, Yes, the local church needs your help and your service, but believe it or not, your neighbors, coworkers, the shelter downtown, food bank, etc., all are an extension of your serving to the greater kingdom of God, and you are a part of serving that kingdom. See, the church's job is to encourage you to be in the community with one another. That's church and some kind of spiritual gathering, like a small group or, or to serve. And things to, things to consider, uh, 1 Corinthians 10, 31 says, so whether you eat or drink or whatever you do, do it for the glory of God. So, so if you're gonna join your kid's soccer team as a coach, that can be your service for Christ. But you have to actively bring Jesus into that service. Make it unto the glory of God. Or let's say you're standing on the sideline in your kid's dance class. Well, why don't you serve the other parents? Because that's serving God as well. You see, service needs to be intentional, meaning you don't just stumble into serving God. It's not about filling a role at church. It's about deciding to care and serve the needs of others around you intentionally. Well, that's all I have for today. Thank you so much for joining me. Again, the two aspects of service that I want us to take home today is service is not about salvation and it's not about the church. Again, my name is John Knudsen. I'm from CLF and I'll chat with you later. Peace.